Hello y'all, my name is Jazz. So it's been about two weeks since I put my knotless braids in. I will link that video somewhere up here and down in the description if you actually wanna watch it. But this video today is actually gonna be about how I care for my braids to keep them looking new for longer. If you're interested in that, just keep on watching and we'll get into that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And once we're done with the video, if you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. All right, y'all, let's get into it. So what I actually do to keep my hair looking newer for longer is I use certain products. Now, we all know that box braids are hair. And so over time, it's gonna start looking dull and it's gonna start frizzing. But there is some things that you can do at home to actually prolong the life of your braids. So first is going to sleep. We all gotta sleep, right? But if you tie your hair down, your hair is actually going to look better for longer because all the friction is not gonna be on your braids. So actually what I use is a satin cap, but it's actually a longer bunny. It looks like a sack, don't it? <laughs> but I'm gonna link it down below. But let me show you how I use this bonnet to uh, tie down when I go to sleep. It's like this. So I actually take my hair, pull it back. I don't use any rubber bands when I'm pulling my hair back for the night only because I don't want that extra tension on my roots while I sleep. But I just take it like this and I'm gonna do it from the side so you see. And I place the hair on the inside, let it fall. Then I pull this over this way, like this. And if I have any hair on the side, I kind of pull those back. And this is to tie to secure it. Now just tie it. And so this is what I use to actually sleep in at night. You see it? My husband absolutely hates this thing, but I tell him that it's functional so he can't worry about it. Um, another thing that makes people's braids really fuzzy is scratching the braids and we all know your hair is going to itch especially the longer you have it in and so you have to be really careful on how you scratch your hair because the more aggressively you scratch your hair the more you're going to have flyaways come out so what i use if my hair is really itching and i can't get it to stop is a rat tail comb i like this because you actually can get to the spot that's itching <laughs> but you just take it and place it to the spot that's itching and then kind of get under it like that without like having to scratch like this or kind of like beat your head to like you with a concussion. So have a rat tail comb handy if you got some braids, for real. Cantu is itch relief and I will link this in the bottom as well. I just want to say that this has apple cider vinegar as well as peppermint oil in here. Um, I don't have any allergies, but if you do, you want to check the ingredients before you start putting stuff in your hair. Maybe do like a test area somewhere. But I use this and it has a little applicator so you just take it and put it on your roots or wherever you're having the itching at and then you kind of rub that in the area and it's supposed to relieve the itching it works great for me but it you know everybody head is different so it may not work as well for some of you also to cut down on the itching and to keep your scalp moisturized you always want to use some type of oil um, I know some people who oil their scalps every day with braids. That's a little overkill for me. All I use is oil sheen to oil my scalp when um, I feel like my scalp is getting dry or something like that. So I just take it and kind of just spray it all over on my roots just to make sure that my scalp is oiled and not dry. We don't have any flaking while I have the braids in. We all know that a clean looking scalp is going to keep your hair looking newer longer also if you start to notice that you have flyaways in your braids because that's going to happen the older that they get you can always put more foam on the braids more styling foam so i put this moisturizing foam on my hair i'm not going to put that in my hair today only because i've done it already but what you'll do is you take it and just put it down the braids like you would when you first styled your hair to kind of tuck those flyaways away and sometimes some people actually wash their hair with the braids in. Um, I personally don't do that. What I usually do is kind of get a water bottle with some leave-in conditioner in it, 
kind of shake it up and spray it on my roots where my hair is actually itching really bad. I don't have to do that as much since I started using the itch relief uh, solution I just showed y'all. But that is an option as well. Um, to end this video, I will say when you have braids, the things that start looking older first is the edges, right? So right now my edges are coming out. If you feel like, you know, you've done everything, you've done, you put all the gel on your hair and you know, your hair still, you still got these edges coming out. Like I got today, you could, if you know how to redo the perimeter around your head. I'm actually going to do that soon. Um, it's going to be in another video, so stay tuned. Um, but redo your edges, especially around here to keep all of this looking fresh because when people first see you, they're going to see this. So that concludes the video. I just want to tell y'all what my routine was of keeping my braids looking newer for longer. Also, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this information, go ahead and give a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you do to keep your braids looking good for the longest amount of time. All right, y'all. Have a good one.